The next flow that you need to set up for your brand is a winback flow. Winback flow targets customers who placed an order with you before, but haven't placed an order in a while. Most likely you're still sending campaigns to all your engaged customers, but this will be different kinds of message just because it will be personalized and it will be based on their behavior. They placed an order a while ago, but now they haven't placed any and you want to maybe personally reach out to them and offer them to shop with you again, offer them a specific offer to show that you value their business and that you want them back and again to provide that incentive for them to come back. Because of this goal, the flow filters are that they did not place an order at any point since starting this flow. They did not cancel order since starting this flow and they did not refund the order since starting this flow. So we want to make sure that we are sending this email to right people. In terms of the delay for when to send this email, it can be anywhere between, I would say, 60 to 180 days, depending on the repurchase rate for your brand. If those are some kind of items that need to be replenished more often, such as maybe food items or drinks, definitely this delay needs to be shorter. If it's closing, maybe if it's active wear, also it can be around 60 days or maybe 75. If it is something like a bra or some item that you don't purchase that often, it can be up to 180 days. So it really depends. For the sake of the example, I have 90 days here. So at 8 a.m. after 90 days, we will send email number one. It will be a message from the owner or from the founder, something personal. It's been a while. We miss you. It can be even a plain text email just to reach out, just to check in if everything is all right and to say that we miss you. So no need for fancy design here, really. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Make it simple, but have this flow. In two days, send them a checkout new arrivals email. Few days after, provide them with a discount and limited. Few days after, give them a limited time discount and last chance for a discount and then try to re-engage with them in a couple of more weeks. Again, if they place an order at any point in this flow, they will exit the flow and they will not receive the other emails. And after two weeks, you want to give them that discount ladder and provide a higher discount and a last chance for discount emails. I have a few examples here. I really love this example because of how personal it is and targeted and it really evokes those emotions about like remember when we used to curl up in bed so a wonderful example definitely a little more of design required here but it de definitely doesn't have to be this format right you can just write a personal message saying all of that wonderful example and we have a cta here links to recommended products it's a really really cool example Another example here is we've noticed you haven't restocked in a while. We miss you. Make sure, you know, you have products for all occasions for your next special occasion. So something like that. Another, another win back email was check out the season's best sellers. This is another example. And sorry for the quality here. A more straightforward example, it's been a while, here is a discount, here's a code, shop now. So if you feel like you don't want to have the whole seven emails, whatever I give you, just send everything in one email. I do recommend still have at least a few to kind of rewarm them again in case they were not following your other emails or just to remind them about the brand. Maybe you want to do some brand building as well. This is also something you can A-B test. Another beautiful example from Allbirds. The subject line here was, do you remember this day two years ago? And it said in the preview text, we do. So they actually send a win back email two years after I've placed an order with them. And I did place another order in those two years, but they're still asking me whether I'm ready for a fresh on those shoes, which is quite timely because the shoes did serve really long. So this is another way how you can strategize your win back flow. Pretty much what they are asking is that are you ready for a refresh? Time flies when you're super comfy. Beautiful email and with some recommendations. So there is definitely lots of ways that you can strategize the win back flow. It doesn't have to be in that time frame. You can have multiple win back flows. 
You can also have separate winback flows for your first-time buyers, for example, versus your VAPs or second-time buyers. So for VAPs, it will be very similar, but message from the owner would be more like, as our valued customer, right? As our regular, what happened? You can even ask them what happened. Like, it's been really long. You've been buying with us quite often. What happened? So you can send them a survey. You can tell them to reply to this email, whatever you have capabilities for. And you can personalize that for your other audiences. Let's quickly look in Klaviyo how you can create this flow. It will be pretty straightforward. You will go to your flows tab, create flow. You can either create from scratch and simply choose placed order as your trigger, or you can create a winback flow that is already provided by Klaviyo. By default, Klaviyo already has 75 days here. Feel free to change this. Feel free to split test it. You can try two branches with 75 days and 90, for example, to compare the click rates. Update your flow filters. Play store zero times since starting this flow. Refunded order zero times and canceled order. If you do want to only have this flow for first time buyers, you can also include another flow filter. So it will be placed order equals once overall time. That's another thing you can do if you want to segment this a little more, but we'll just go with the simpler version. And now you'll just build your emails. You can easily change the template and for example, write a text only email, like a personalized note. Write that it's Olena at at Wells Tales and just do a text only email. This email is just for you. We hope you like it. Write your content, save your content, send it to your to your lab's customers. Make sure to turn off your smart send, keep your UTM tracking on. And this is it. Very straightforward. Make sure to keep A B testing. When you have time, expand the strategy a little bit and segment your win back flow a little more, and you will see some customers coming back to you after they haven't shopped in a while.